those nasty strings the easier. It literally cuts the job in half. Hi, everybody. It's Babs. Did your mom ever tell you the do's and don'ts of pumpkin carving? Don't stand and carve your pumpkin. Sit. Just put them on your lap. Now time to cut the bottom of your pumpkin, not the top. Don't do this. Use your hand mixer instead. Get all those strings cleaned up. Your mixer did the hard work of loosening all those strings. When designing your pumpkin face, use a dry erasable red marker that you can get rid of the lines after you carve. If you don't want to struggle using a knife to carve your pumpkin, just use a soft-headed mallet and your cookie cutter. And just push it right through. Remove all your red lines. Don't let all your work go to waste. Those kids want to enjoy these pumpkins. Take Vaseline and rub it on all the open cut surfaces. It'll keep your pumpkin moist, won't dry out as quickly, and it should last about one to two weeks. And if you want a beautifully scented jack-o'-lantern, try sprinkling some cinnamon right on the top. And over the candle she goes. And she smells delicious. Happy Halloween.